Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Fallout for Survival. It sounds like we're under attack. Oh, god damn, I should probably take care of this. Uh, hello? Oh, there's a gunner commander over there. That is interesting. Um, you, head, die, now. Well, that's a critical, at least. Let's just go a little bit closer. And then just... Hello, hello. Let's this this. This game just started with, with excitement today, this episode. God damn, why were we suddenly attacked by a gunner commander on its own? That is also very interesting, but uh, there we go. I was just about to say, we're back in Hangman's Alley, as you, as you uh, definitely can see. I'm not going to stay here too long, because by now there's so many settlers here that I can barely talk over them. Um, but yeah... I've uh, done a few things in between recording. I'm going to show you that first here on the weapons workbench. If dog meat wants to kindly fuck off. But basically, I've uh, upgraded the deliverer to have a hardened receiver, not a calibrated receiver. Calibrated would uh, give it more damage in a critical shot. But the uh, delivery gun is going to be mainly used to uh, hit hard and hit a lot. So hardened receiver is going to help more with that. Now, uh, I also gave it an extended barrel, comfort grip, large magazine, and glow sight. The suppressor was already on there. So that's what we did on the weapon front. Then I also fixed my... Um, oh, I should probably turn that off. Yeah, I fixed my rads, which is obvious. But I also fixed my fusion core problem. There we go, so uh, we're carrying eight at the moment. There's four more in the box over there. I basically just went to the Super Duper Mart in Lexington and uh, cleared that out of ghouls. And that was enough to actually give me uh, 12 fusion cores in total, which I was really, really happy with. For some reason, I think the gunners are still out there. Should probably take them out so I can explain what we'll do today without too much trouble here. Oh, and I think there goes a car in the background. There we go. Let's kill this gunner private. She, they usually have, uh, yeah, plenty of fusion cells. Because they use laser rifles. Did that kill? Because I think the Brotherhood of Steel is still here. Yeah, that's the... Ooh. Child of Atom. And I'm actually gaining rats from being close. Um, these guys are usually aggressive, no? Uh, gunners. So that's, that's the gunner down. Uh, hello. It couldn't... Oh, hi, yeah, he's definitely shooting a, a radiation gun there. There we go. Ooh, wow, thanks. God damn it, I just fixed my radiation, you dick. God damn it, there's another one. Will you please die? Oh, wow, that didn't, that didn't actually... There we go. Ooh, there's another one, and a grenade. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? Are they throwing mini nukes? Um, I think he crippled himself there. Uh, oh no, wait. Torso, head, head. Blammo! Critical strike, and then... Another kill, there we go. Are there more? No. Okay. At least I... Ah, oh, nuka grenade, that's the problem. Ooh, nuka grenades. Nuka grenades are really powerful. But... Thank you. I uh, finally killed everybody here, so I get uh, get the chance to actually explain what we're going to do today. So today, we're going to continue with the Minuteman quest. So, Preston Garvey told us he's going to go um, in the direction of something called the castle. He's going to try and reinforce that place, and we're going to make that the new home of the Minuteman. So to show you this on the map, the castle is on the other side of the General Atomics factory we've been to before. So where we got the... Uh, the, what, what was it? The ball bearings or the pump bearings for the USS Constitution, but on the other side of the water. So right over there. Um, I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. And if we bump into anything interesting along the way, I'll let you guys know. And there we go. By killing that one raider, we actually get a level up. Okay, that was a complete and utter miss. That wasn't. But there's a, a few raiders in front of us. Nothing that we need to worry about too much but uh since that gave me the prompt i might as well level up because i think i have another one in the back there we go two level ups so uh i want to just check so rifleman we can't do that just yet gunslinger either and lone wanderer neither so 
We should probably focus on either getting Gunnut up a little bit to get access to bigger ranks or more ammunition. I don't think that's necessary just yet. Um, so I think we'll go with the upgrades to Four Leaf Clover and I should, right? Maybe, maybe the third rank of science as well. I could put one more point into agility as well, since I really want to go for those uh, upgraded sneak attack criticals as well. You know what? Let's do that. Let's boost agility by one. And then upgrade the ninja perk here as well, moving us up to two and a half times normal damage if you do a ranged sneak attack. So there we go. That's gonna go up later uh, to three and eventually to three and a half. So that's a nice damage multiplier on our first shot for every battle. Okay, so apparently the uh, the recording crashed. Um, I'm in the middle of a scrapyard at the moment. You missed uh, two things, I think, in the recording that I lost. Uh, we went past a huge crater, and then we're here at the scrapyard where a bunch of super mutants were fighting a bunch of gunners, and the super mutants won, and that, uh, that's the faction I'm currently wiping out. But uh, that was really, really weird. My uh, yeah, Elgato just completely crashed, so that's why I lost about 15 minutes worth of footage. But we're still looting our way in the direction of the castle. Uh, Dogmeat is still incredibly in the way. And apparently the super mutants are still firing at something. I don't know what it is. I think there's also one more super mutant enforcer in there. But other than that... This should... Ooh, that is... That's more of a problem, and I don't have a critical anymore. Um, I'm going to go for the better shots here. Let's fill up that critical bar. I want to have him evolve. There we go. He mutated. Uh, and then should be able to get a headshot with the rifle from over here. And that's most of his health done. There's another one next to him. It's like an overlord. But even that, they don't seem to be doing much. So I'm just gonna, you know, kill him like this then. There we go. Overlord done. And now the legendary is coming. That's fair enough, I suppose. And then there's a the super mutant brute. Can take care of him with a few shots as well. Filling up my critical bar. There we go. And then the legendary. I still have enough ammo for the legendary. There we go. What does he have? Troubleshooter combat armor chest piece. I think troubleshooter is, yeah, reduces damage from robots. That might come in handy. Ooh, in our first super sledge. Um, let's check out that overlord. Overlords usually also have nice loot on them. And this guy was also holding a super sledge and a high speed shredding minigun. Ah, oh, that is really cool for a melee build as well. I want one in my uh, no guns run. Because you can actually use the blades at the front while it's spinning if you don't have any ammo as a melee weapon. And it actually counts towards your melee damage. So technically that would work for the no guns blade. So I do need to be careful here. Might have booby trapped that. No, no. I didn't want to have the super mutant guards. Because they're very heavy and I don't need them. Um, and then we have a Tales of a Junky Town ver Jerky Junk Town Jerky Vendor permanently gain better prices. That's the second one I have of those. Some nice bits and pieces of ammo, and again another dead raider, and that's basically it. Yes, that's uh, well some nice bit of loot. Uh, as I said before, before I lost the uh, recording, this is also the place where you can find. It might actually be that one. Uh, a container where a family has a radio beacon over here that just indicates that there, there was a family when the bombs fell that was hiding in one of the containers and you can actually find that container yeah it's that one and you can find the railway rifle in there i never gonna use that thing because the ammo weighs too much and yeah it's just yeah i think the gun itself also weighs about 15 pounds so i'm uh, i'm not gonna use it but uh it, if you want it it's right over there there's apparently still a super mutant enforcer in here. Um, you can have one of my criticals. Wasn't using them anyway. 
There we go. And we got another level up from that. Yeah. If you missed that, we um, we also leveled up twice in that first part. Uh, we put another point into agility. And then we went for the sneak attack criticals upgrade. So to 2.5 times damage. Um, level 38, on the other hand, does not have a weapon upgrade tied to it just yet. But we could boost Grim Reaper Sprint to have a 25% chance to restore all action points, which is pretty nice. Um, that's going to trigger a lot more than it did before, and that's going to help us um, out immensely if we uh, go to the hardest sections of this game. But we were heading east, and that's exactly where we're going to be continuously heading. Oh yeah, the other thing that happened was... I that probably was, was not in the recording either. That's too bad. There was a, a sentry bolt in our way. And we killed it with one shot to the fusion cores. Um, which was really nice. And which is why I also have more fusion cores now. Um, because you can get two fusion cores from that badass robot. Um, the checkpoint would be nice to loot. But I'm not going to. Um, we're just going to pass just to uh, move it along a little bit more quickly. But I think we're almost there. I recognize the houses over here. We should be around the same uh, eastern border as the Pritwin. And I think that's a raider camp I cleared out before. If I recall correctly, there's actually another fusion core over here. And an elevator to go up. Uh, let's grab that. Thank you very much. I'm not even going to bother with the camp. I could probably save there if I wanted to. But I'm just going to head towards the castle. I love how, how close these houses are next to each other. It makes for a very cramped feeling. Um, but I'm guessing if I check the map really quickly, we should be... Yeah, we should be on the right track. We're almost there. Um, and I think we're past all the evil Raider and Super Mutant camps. So we can handle... Hopefully, we can handle what comes next. That's an irradiated graveyard, probably full of ghouls. But there's uh, one of these houses that we need to enter... Because that's where Preston and the gang are hiding for the assault on the castle. Uh, yeah, it's that one, that diner over there. I'm just quickly going to check. And that big building, that big fortress on the in the distance there, that is the castle. So, okay, I think we can stand up and go and have a little chat with these fellas. Hello, guys, what you drinking? Hello, Preston. Everyone's here, General. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, but the Minutemen always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Okay, seems impressive indeed. Definitely. For 600 years old, it's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Well, that final plan is the best, so we're gonna let them set come up a to firing us. Line, and I'll draw them out. Sounds good. And I'll be the bait. We'll hold back and wait for them to come to us. Just don't get yourself trapped in there. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. So this is going to be tough. Um, the Mardlurks themselves aren't too bad. Should be able to get through here. Um, but there's something else entirely in this water that's going to rough up our day. Um, and for that, I have a bit of a plan. I think I kept some. Um, I have, yeah, I have a bottle cap, two bottle cap mines and two plasma mines. That should give us an edge against what's to come. Um, I'm just gonna run... You know what? I'm gonna draw them out. They should probably stick to the plan. So they're right there. So if I just draw their fire from over here, they should come towards us. So the castle. Um, there's... Definitely a lot of Mylurks around. I think I might be able to sneak attack critical a few of these guys. So there we go. They're running in the wrong direction because they think I... Well, they think the shots came from the other side. If they turn around... 
I can sh shoot a few other ones in the face. Uh, that's another one. As long as they're confused, my silencer is working wonders here. I think one of them is coming. Can you please shoot it? Can you please shoot it? Thank you. There we go. So now all sneak, all sneak is gone. That's just all stealth is gone. So let's just fire at the Marlux as they're coming our way. Keep your shots low because, of course, the shell bounces off uh, attacks there. There we go. And then there's another one over there on the right. I'm gonna grab all the meat we can because this is gonna be a nice upgrade to our uh, food supplies. So now, um, there's going to be a bunch of hatchlings as well. There we go. Um, I'm just going to let them fire with that. And then, I think it's over here, right? Yeah. I'm going to have to be careful, but I want to avoid getting attacked by those hatchlings, I think. They'll probably deal with that. I'm just going to... Ooh, let's hope this works. Um... That's one, that's two. Uh, Prasna has already started his uh, speech there, so I'm just gonna... There we go, I'm just gonna put that over there. You hold here in the courtyard, so take care of any exit. Yeah, I'm in all just as the wall. Yes sir, let's do this, General. I think I got something over here. So everybody's gonna start firing at everything coming in. And now we need to destroy the egg clutches. So let's just do exactly that. I can actually take the eggs as well, because you can make some nice food out of this. Uh, so that is done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think the rumbling started. I think the rumbling started. Something moved. I don't think it's gonna be over. So I want to be down here when the, the real trouble starts. Um, I'll just check upstairs really quickly. But I think we're going to be in trouble in a second. <laughs> oh, I hate this quest. Oh, there's another soft shell mile lurk. Uh, might as well shoot at the torso a bunch. There we go. Grim Reaper Sprint. As you can see, it triggers quite a lot more than... God damn it. Oh god, yeah, I think she she just spawned. She just spawned. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to move down. Move down, move down, move down, move down, move down, down. So kill the mark. Yeah, there we go. Okay, she did trigger. Oh, ah, she's almost dead. Yes! She's almost dead. I should probably not uh, keep keep make that take it for granted. There we go, critical! Uh, take another critical, please! Fire another one! Fire another one! She's almost dead! There we go! <laughs> and we got Idiot Savant on a Myler Queen kill. Well, that is interesting. <laughs> Look at the XP going! 2500 experience. Okay, that's the Myler Queen done. Uh, what is that? Is that. Yeah, combat shotgun. Don't really need that. Okay! Um, hi! Uh, you're, you're not a problem at the moment, buddy. Goodbye! I did get hit with an illness of some kind. So let's uh, take care of that with the, I think my last antibiotics. That's gonna be a problem, isn't it? I've, yeah, that's my last. Ooh, that's gonna definitely be a problem. Preston. Let's go see if there's anything left of the old transmitter. Indeed. Cause we're gonna have to fix this bad boy up. Once I power this up, we'll, I guess we'll be ready to broadcast. Work. Let's grab guns and bullet. Ballistic weapons permanently do 5% more critical damage. So I think this place just needs power. Uh, and this is officially now a settlement. But a settlement... Can I already make a supply line with these guys? Doesn't seem like it, because I could get the supplies. So he's assigned to just waving, apparently. Still exterminating a bunch of bugs here, because uh, the interior of this place is also filled with... Uh, 
my luck hatchlings uh, i'm gonna grab all the eggs and meat i can get we're gonna be swimming in food in a second and there we go with two medium generators we just had enough supplies to do that we can turn on the communication the radio transmitter and activate it there we go and then i probably need to turn that off immediately I, I don't want to hear the music that might be copyrighted god damn it i hate the castle Preston. let's talk wow we really did it. I've been watching the men and men fall to pieces for so long, I just... This is really something. Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. There we go. Taking independence completed. We killed our first. Yeah, of course you do, Preston. So, Outpost Simonja. And god damn, the music is going to be so copyright, and I'm going to get a copyright strike in this video. But that is going to be the end for this episode today. Because the problem is yeah, with, my, uh, with the crash that my recording actually... Uh, underwent i uh this is probably gonna be a bit of a shorter episode but uh, i hope you still liked it uh because i'm gonna take a little break so i mean we even started another freaking minutemen quest that's an amazing and there's more of these hatched nests here god damn it die you my lurk hatchling bastards die and glorious laser fire i am gonna murder the last one of your kind in style Please don't ever come back here. This is our castle right now. Fuck off. Myrler Gomlet. Myrler Squeed Steak. So delicious. Mutant Hound Chops. Yes, roast the Myrler. Roast the Myrler. It's gonna be so juicy and delicious. Eat it. Uh, let's pretend that last bit didn't really happen. Uh, we're gonna take a little break, as I just said before. I just wanted to have my revenge on those, uh, Mylarks. Because I'm, uh, a little bit evil like that. Yeah, there we go. Red eyes, that's perfect. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4 Survival. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.